Hello and welcome back to the final episode of this season of the Spinal Hygiene Podcast. So this is season one and today is episode 10. It is the final episode of season one. Next uh, season will start soon. But this episode is a very, very important final episode. We're going to be talking about the wobble disc exercise. Now, the wobble disc is a round disc-like exercise product that you would sit on and allows you to wobble. So you're going to put it in your chair and sit on top of it. Now the reason why we recommend this exercise on a daily basis is because the other most degenerative disc in your spine, and the reason why I say the other, if you listen to the last episode, Episode 9, we talked about the most degenerative posture, head forward posture, and that's where C5 and and the discs and through the neck begin to degenerate with those poor postures and the stress that are on them. The other most degenerative disc in your spine is L5. So L5-S1, that's the lowest disc and the lowest portion of your spine, is most commonly uh, arthritic or degenerative. The reason why is because it sits up against the sacrum And so it doesn't get as much movement because your pelvis and your sacrum are pretty stable. So that lower disc space doesn't get as much movement, especially if you're sitting for long periods of time and you're putting pressure on that disc, you have a misalignment or damage in that lower area of your spine, and you're not getting that movement or that pumping of fluid in and out of that disc called imbibition. Now, hopefully you've been listening all season one and you know what imbibition is, but I'm going to cover that real quickly, give you a reminder. So the discs in your spine need movement in order to stay healthy. Movement of the disc allows nutrients in, waste material out. It's almost like a pumping or flushing effect when you move the discs of your spine. This moving helps those fluids in and out of your disc, helps your discs stay healthy, help them keep their disc height, and that's called imbibition. Now, when you're sitting for long periods of time, you have damaged areas, you're misalignment in your spine, you have uh, some reason that your spine's fixated or it's not moving properly through a full range of motion, then you're, you have a lack of imbibition. And that's most commonly, uh, ha- it most commonly happens at that L5 S1 disc in the very low portion of your back. So it makes sense that we should implement a daily hygiene exercise that would get motion and movement, or basically pumping or imbibition, into that lower area of your low back, and also strengthen some of the core muscles that are in and around that lower spine and around your stomach areas. So we want to do what we call the wobble disc exercise. And it's a pretty easy exercise. It gets that lower back and those hips moving. And you just like we did the range of motion exercise earlier this season in one of the episodes, we, we said that the, the spine moved in three planes of motion, forward and back, side to side, and rotation. Both directions, right? Rotation. So that's how we're going to actually do our wobble disc exercise. We're going to sit on the wobble ball in a chair. I preferably recommend you have arms in your chair unless you're really good at balancing, um, but I don't want anybody falling out of the chair and getting hurt. So, um, And just like you know, the, the blanket disclaimer that's on everything is contact your chiropractor first and ask him if you can do these exercises. Um, I just say that because I feel like I need to say that. If, if you are not fit enough to do the wobble disc exercise, please don't do it. Okay, so you're sitting on the disc, and the first um, exercise, or the the first direction we're going to wobble is forward and back. We're going to bend forward. You put a C in your spine forward, and then bend back and put a C in your spine backward. And you wobble back and forth, forward and back, ten times. Pretty easy, right? Then the second motion is side to side. So we're going to bend, put a C in our spine to the left, a C in your spine to the right, and bend back and forth, right to left, 10 times. Good. Now the third and fourth motions are rotation. So you're going to roll around on, and, and wobble around in a circle. I always say kind of like you have your uh, hula hoop on, right? Wobbling around in a circle to the right, and then wobbling around in a circle to the left, and you're done. You've done your range of motion exercises, and you've done your wobble disc exercises for the day. Do that every day to help keep motion and imbibition in that lower spine and help lower your risk factors for developing the most damaging 
uh, one of the most damaging areas of osteoarthritis, and that is your L5 disc in the lower portion of your back. All right? So I hope you guys have got a tremendous amount of value from this season, uh, episodes 1 through 10. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break, but I'll be right back in about a week or two. We're putting together the next season, which is going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be titled. I'm going to go ahead and give it away, give a little bit of a uh, um, uh, clue here. It's the Spinal Hygiene Conspiracy. Okay, now basically, uh, I'm not the first one to ever think about spinal hygiene, okay? Th this has been out there. In fact, I believe that it's been out there a lot, and there's a reason why th the mainstream medicine has not taken it and, and implemented spinal hygiene in our society. Um, I think it's because they're, just, just to give you a blanket overview, is because they're, this is a billion-dollar industry. From pain pills for back pain, from $100,000 surgeries, and uh, if, if it's such a silent epidemic, this spinal degeneration and arthritis inside your spine, it's such a silent epidemic that you don't feel it until it gets bad enough to implement some of these drugs and surgeries, then why would there be any you know, big grassroots effort to actually prevent it? Uh, they're just not motivated to do it. So uh, tune in next season. I will let you know. Make sure that you're subscribed to the podcast, but we'll, we'll let you know as soon as uh, uh, episode one of season two airs. And thanks so much for being along the ride for this season. We'll talk to you on the next episode.